Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video. More Artro today and in this video we're going to be talking about 7 star heroes and how to possibly get one. Let's be honest, to just get one single 7 star hero seems incredibly difficult and we'll probably never get all of them unless you're going to be spending a ton of money inside the game. So this is where I'm suggesting investing in Guju. Yes, that's right, I said it. His owls might crap out sometimes and not even work at all, but when it comes down to it, he is gonna be your easiest chance to get it by spending your tokens inside the shop. Now, if you do the shop every day or your clan stuff, you technically could get about a thousand of these clan points a day. Yes, that's right, so that's about 30,000 a month. I never said this was gonna be quick, but figure you can go and spend those 30,000, use your 25,000 to get the 50, and then have a remaining 5,000 to get whatever extra. If you just wanna do the 50, spend the other on a gem, then that works. But let's be honest, Archero has not changed the shop hero for every month since they released it. So there's a good chance we're gonna be seeing Guju every time. And with the amount of new heroes that come out inside this game, shards are more difficult to get. You ever wonder why you get more Atreus shards than Lina? Well, that's because the game is going to try to give you those weaker ones. And this is where Guju comes in because if you look at him, a two-star Guju at level 60, he's already doing better than my three-star Helix. So if you're going by attack, that is. Now, there's a lot of people out there that that's like me, for example, want to have that big attack number. That seems to be what does the magic inside my head. Now, as I said, this isn't gonna be any quick feat to go by here. You can see there are 960 shards it's going to take to get Guju all the way maxed out. And of course, the cookies might even be the more difficult part or the gold, eh, not too bad, but it's still a lot overall. But if you guys didn't notice, when I was upgrading with the cookies, that's also going to increase the attack and health of them too. And that goes with all your heroes. So this is really a good way in my mind. Actually, I did this. I was gonna make the video for this and I just ran them through to kind of show you how he does in chapter 23 here i actually beat it with him i probably played chapter 23 about 20 times tried the staff went in with helix multiple times if you want to make guju helix just grab the rage ability when you see it if you're lucky enough to get it there now it's still early enough in the year here and i'm going to make it my goal to get guju to a seven star hero by the end of the year yes it's going to take some grinding of doing those clan challenges it can be annoying to yes beat chapter three on hero mode with Atreus just to get a hundred stupid little points. But this is what it's gonna take guys. If you wanna get there, which I suggest you do this with me to see how far you can get, because in the long run, you're gonna have a strong attack hero. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Guju is a good choice? Do you think this is gonna work? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and remember, I pick my butt.